Okay, I'm just going to go through the partition method of addition that we've been doing in class recently. Um, so we've got 6.78 plus 4.56. We're going to start off by adding up the hundredths. So we've got 8 hundredths plus 6 hundredths. If this was money, we'd be talking about 8 pence plus 6 pence. Okay, that would give me 14 pence, okay, or 0 0.14. Okay, I have to make sure I'm writing this in the correct columns. So then I'm going to move on to my tenths column and I'll add up seven tenths and five tenths. Again in many this would be seventy pence plus fifty pence. So if I add these two together, it's going to give me one pound twenty. One in the units column, decimal point, two tenths, or two ten pences. I've got no hundredths now. And finally, I'm going to add up my units, or my pounds. Okay, so I've got 6 plus 4. That's going to give me 10. So I've got 10. Point zero zero. Yeah, as you can see, I've made sure that everything's in the correct column. So I've got everything here. These are my hundredths. I've got my tenths. My units my tens. Okay. And if you notice, my decimal points all line up throughout the middle. Okay, the final step now is just to add up all those additions I did of each place value. So I got 10 plus £1.20 plus this 14 pence. Okay, so we got 10, 11.20, 11.34. Okay, so I can put that down here. 11 point three, four. So that's one ten, one unit, three tenths, four hundredths to finish. So I get eleven point three four. That's how to read the number. Okay, have a go at that then.